he's there. The guy. Will Chikaku, your Japanese acquaintance, who killed Asogi in the end, see? He came to be the man's friend, but when Push came to shop, he pulled the trigger. Trigger. It was before Mr. Chikaku left the courtroom earlier. He said that such an exchange proposal was a demand for the British counterpart, not a request. So of course, him too. Seeing what happened in the graveyard? But that time, Chikaku was the Minister of Foreign Affairs, negotiating international treaties with Britain. I can't imagine what would have happened if they came to the light and murdered a compatriot ten years earlier. He would have lost everything. I merely reminded me of that. <laughs> How do you sleep at night? <laughs> These past ten years, I fought tireless with the darker recesses of London's criminal underworld. I will use whatever means necessary to ensure that justice prevails and law and order. Objection! That couldn't be further from the truth. The fact is, you haven't fought crime at all. How dare you! Say clean Francisco from dishonor. Dishonor his. Objection! Death. Well, at least behind the scenes, you systematically bury anyone who stood you in your way. And then, you made my father take the blame. It was unavoidable. It was the only way to protect our justice system and public order. Let's not forget the others you have killed as well. Setting the fan that up after Reaper to cover up the truth behind the murders of countless more. That's enough! You have any idea the, of the carnivine that lead to the acquittals of those wretched criminals? We have to fight fire with fire. Our cause can function without our Reaper. Can you see all I've done for this country has been my subjection? We've done nothing. With all Van Zisk here, we've worked tirelessly and justly in cool release and doing the disgrace of, of the Reaper name. And Inspector Gregson, throw with anguish for having sold his hands through a desire to do the right thing. But to mention Gensha so he risk his life going to in pursuit of the truth we try to hide. No, the dark races of London Underwood were largely filled by you. You little... What you get it through your thick skulls? What it was all for the Queen and the country? I'm tired of that excuse. You consist that it's twisted through for bargaining power to make others do your bidding and nothing more. People will willing to twist the truth and coerce others have your no right to call themselves part of the judiciary. Strongly suggest that you not ever talk of justice again. Fellas, dear me. I will just have a round of applause even for a quite marvelous performance. What are you talking about? Those delightful creative expression that beautifully pronounced Queen's English. Really, our friends from the Far East are quite a picture of industriousness. Fraud, keep keep your mockery. Please don't be misunderstood. I really it really is as carefully as you both said. What are you trying to say? I have occupied the darker recess of the London underworld, and how did you put it? Done nothing. I confess it's a little embarrassing to have it pointed out quite too stark, starkly, but yes. I really have done nothing, which means... I can't be indicted for nothing. No. What? Okay, this is... Okay, this is it's true, personally, I have committed no crime. I've merely been surrounded by fools who acted very rashly. Objection! You, you can't get away with that. You consistently preyed on people's weakness. And what? Threatened them? Are you sure it wasn't just bargaining? I'd like to address all the good lords, ladies and gentlemen of the judiciary here present. You all know all these dark recesses in our great capital. They've died, I believe you also know. 
that for to fight us to dwell there requires at least some of us to occupy the darkness ourselves. So let me appeal to your good sense now. Consider the situation with me. If this catalogue of horrifying revelation were to become common knowledge among the six million inhabitants of London, what might happen? To learn that the infamous murder of royal nobles would respect a member of the aristocracy himself, the evidence was fabricated in the scapegoat trial amid secret negotiation with prosecutors to effect a jailbreak. At the reaper of the parlour was an organised group of assassins managed by the Scotland Yard inspector. And finally, Teddy was all masterminded by the Lord Chief Justice himself. He was a gentleman park Blake of a breed and knew the truth. All faith in the police and the prosecutor office will be completely lost without doubt. The order of the capital will completely break down and cast back to the lawless days of the last century. Precisely, it was 100 years ago when one in 10 of the population were criminals and that we accomplished since then public police in force, a comprehensive set of laws, and if we want to continue to protect this new era of law and order, I say again, we must at times occupy the darkness ourselves. We have because successively identified and apprehended the man responsible for taking his better Gregson's life. And so there was a pattern of this trial, all these other matters that have been discussed. It will be eliminated from the menace of these proceedings in the interest of preserving the law and order, and to protect Her Majesty the Queen, of course. Well, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, what say you, sir? As a boy, King Goldstone has done quite a few. God dang it. There's no. Not at well. Do you think the carry is any way to court? It's hard evidence. But we still have to. What evidence is there used in the station to find? I don't know whether anything will come after it. But if it was ever since time, it's a pretty particular item that we absolutely don't understand. Why is in our. Come back. Take that! Oh my, yes! Mr. Shum asked if you had that with you earlier. Huh? Expose all along start wrong doing now. No doubt that Mr. Shum had already deduced exactly how the truth will unfold. I think it must be time for the great detective to take center stage, don't you? It will be a really good moment to end the episode if you think so. Yeah, absolutely. Huh? 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 Come on. It's been an hour, man. Man. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm not going to do it, but I really want to do it. <laughs> okay, hey -o. let's go. Ow, 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 My dear fellas, must I remind you every time? Gentle tap, will suffice. Schultz, looking in quite the wrong direction, Mr. Miller, because I am over here. Over here? Yeah. Is he... <laughs> Is Splinter selling this fucking place? What the fuck you did invent, Mr. Sholmes? I was expecting you back, Sholmes. 
Oh, is that a hologram? Delighted to be here again, Lois Rocker. <laughs> what? What is the meaning of this? But let's say to him, put that man in Iris. This is it's close court. You'll be worn once already, man. <laughs> yeah, holograms. What? 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 We uh, can't read a hoodie with it, my lord. Three witch cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> right through him. Dance moves. I'm afraid your efforts are wasted, you see. The great detective you see before you is composed entirely of light and shadows, an image, if you will. Uh, Senator Doyle, I must congratulate you on your fine deductions. Mr. Jones, what on earth is a familiar I wonder with the invention known as the telephone? Yeah, what the fuck? That is not a fucking telegram. Telephone. <laughs> oh well, yes, I hear some public telephones here have been installed recently in Tokyo. Why do you have time to install it? Some of the speakers, voice, converters, were electrical signal, transmitting straight to another place. Quite sounds are transmitted, so could not image, image to keep them company amused. I wish that I did some modest experimentation to help with such a device, specifically, specifically for this day. Okay, this next experimentation is shown as not the modest description. Well, incidentally, I thought we might just as well transmit an entire scene. Some might you see them incidentally. Sean, you know you're just being modest. Do, do you mean to say that you are not actually here, Sean? Mm hmm. And you might. But Batman will have no trouble grasping the concept. Scared he's grasping the standard stabbing himself after you shock her rival. Poor father. We'll have a hope he might have been forewarned in the great detective great partner. Take the court one once. Get out! What is worth to you? There's so many. Oh, they love my lord. Near me, you have the other hand. Lord Strong appears to you have a very poor grasp of this situation. Allow me to reiterate. I'm not here, which will hope will lead naturally to one asking. What's out there? The question I was waiting. Am I present? Enjoy the in the rather splendid garden. Garden? 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 Not just any garden, you understand? The Buckingham Palace Garden. What? You you can't be Buckingham Palace? Well, uh, what's Buckingham Palace, Mr. Sand? I never heard of it. Do you have written news, Mr. Moore? Ah, so he did summon the Queen. Mr. Sholmes, is Iris with you there? Ah, well, now. Iris is going to enjoy some tea. With Her Majesty. Her Majesty? <laughs> yeah, I knew it. The Queen. The Queen! Not just Her Majesty, you understand? Her Majesty, the Queen of the British Empire. W what? What? What on earth is all this about? Buckingham Palace, Her Majesty, the Queen of Residence in London. Order, order, go, the man immediate silence. Her, Her Majesty, the Queen, you can't be, I mean, no. This, this is some sort of forgivable, distasteful trickery by third freak detective, that's all. You know, this tasteful trickery is not an art description. I close up for a session attended by elite members of the Jewish Rare event. Presumed that Majesty will be more than a little curious about the proceedings. So I decided to show you her. Everything from start to finish. Uh, show her? Indeed. By the end of the Halloween show, remote cinematography. Oh, you meddling! This is some kind of nightmare. <laughs> Just I appear to be standing before you, regaling you with talk of my latest inventions. No doubt you are inferred that the reverse is also true. You, you don't mean... Her Majesty has seen and heard every moment of the proceedings, as soon there will be no objection after all. Every trial in this country is conducted under their own species. Oh, Her Majesty, I'll see you now. You, you... You! I'm going. You! You must get I confess I'm quite impatient to hear Her Majesty's opinion. About the unforgivable, distasteful trickery in which you've been engaged over the past three months. No, I, I was merely. Oh, so sorry to keep you all waiting. Vicky and I. Vicky! <laughs> Vicky and I had too much to talk about. Iris, there you are! Vicky, this. I've had a little message here from Her Majesty. A message? Well then, if everyone is sitting comfortably. <clears throat> For wit and with immediate effect, 
all authority, pre authority previously afforded to Mel Strongheart is hereby revoked forevermore. Furthermore, he will be prosecuted for crimes against his country in a public trial by jury in the coming days. So, it seems their majesty doesn't believe we need to fight fire with fire. The cities in this country needed to be administered from the shadows of the Mel Strongheart. The darkness you fostered to conceal your despicable action these last ten years is a thing of the past now. After today, your brand of law and order has no future, because no longer are you the Lord Chief Justice. In the eyes of the law and Her Majesty the Queen, you are nothing but a criminal. Super guilty. Super guilty. Ah, uh, is gonna fall on him? Cinematic effects, guys. <laughs> this courtroom is filled to, with too much powder to blow up stuff and shit. We have fireworks and shit. Lord Clean Bantisk left the will in which he confessed to everything. When those words came out of Soggy's mouth, I deranged me completely. And you must do anything and everything in my power to update the situation. But I couldn't find the damn document. So I just saw where he was in there. Which uh, precipitated the jailbreak plot ever since. What do you mean? The need to obtain the will was all consuming. I was sure that if, if I facilitated a soul escape, he could emerge with that will somewhere on his person. But despite searching his link, body in the cemetery of that night, was still duty. It never even crossed my mind that he was concealing the sword hilt. What pains me now is that my brother left his word without a word to me. I'm sorry, Logan Zisk. In point, in fact, I think perhaps that isn't the case. Sorry? Mm, how can that be? There is more to his last will and testament. Uh, what? <clears throat> As I confront the prospect of my demise, I feel a bit of regret for my younger brother. Baruch, you have always looked up to me, and now you follow in my footsteps to become a prosecutor. It is my fervent wish that my unspeakable deeds should not hinder your advancement. I ask no for understanding, for none could understand my depravity. I ask only for forgiveness. Soggy is a fine detective and a hunter worthy of respect. He has eager agreed to honor my final two wishes. The first is that this document survives. The second, I cannot commit to paper. I have confessed my sins to my wife. May she find her solution in my death. In my turn of gratitude, my Japanese friend arrest my queen. Van Zisk. The colloidal we say Shiro Jikaku in a criminal plot so immense is spanned the oceans. 
and you cold hardly murder all those who knew the truth about what happened ten years ago. But why do you set about that now, a whole decade later? Ascend to the very peak. These last ten years made me realize being the Lord Chief Justice was enough. Short of becoming Her Majesty Attorney General, I could have no real power to affect the changes needed in this country. And for that promotion, I needed to ensure no remnants of the past remained. How cool do you? I like everything to run smoothly in the exact manner that I've prescribed, like a well oiled machine. And it was just a step away. And for your ambition to succeed, you even bothered to count the number of brilliant people you had to kill. Ah, Mr. Reaper, are you not forgetting something? Such as? You very much adopted your usual prosecutor-like demeanor in the proceedings now. But the reality of the situation is that you are the defendant in this trial. Ah. However, the presiding judge will appear to have fallen through the bench as you see where. Oh, Santa, uh, you are here. I suggest therefore they trust to a fine adjudication, old friend of mine. My lord. As my the judiciary, I have been following the proceedings from the gallery. I must say, I shall never forget the extraordinary battle between good and evil that I witnessed here today. The darkness that has blighted justice in our land these past ten years has last been dispelled. Thanks, no small part, to the efforts for by young star from the east. Defense Counsel Naruhodo. Yes, my lord. On behalf of everyone here present in the old valley, I give you my heartfelt thanks. You're too kind, my lord. The first time I faced you in court just under a year ago now, at the faintest of intimation, intim intim intimations. As a Brit if, uh, that if the British justice so up and twisted over its long history was finally to no change. Is my just be the man to do it? Uh, what? But uh, at the time I wouldn't allow myself to acknowledge the possibility. I could overcome my hatred of the Japanese after the secret dancers my brother's staff. Mr. Rodo. Allow me to apologize for countless discourtesy on my part. You are a lawyer of boundless talent. Oh, and for surviving Great Britain, I was literally nobody, certainly not a lawyer. The truth is, my fortune had entirely been made by the miraculous people I met. My best friend, Cousin Masogi, led me here to Great Britain in the first place. My loyal and ever patient judicial regional assistant, Miss Susato, who helped me study to become a lawyer. The brilliant law of ancestors, who never failed to challenge his Nipponese survival. And not to mention, the exceptional massologian recently, who showed me the true of the deduction, Mr. Sholmes. Jeez, please. Save me the best for last, Master Arden, what are you? I'm well aware that without all these people help. I suppose I want to be aware where I am. The truth is guiding light that always leads to happiness. And leave my principle for a long time now, but true is not true. The truth can also cause great pain, sometimes even leave people on the brink of despair. For that reason, there are those who feel the need to hide the truth, who is instinctively. As soon as we allow our eyes to settle on something other than the truth, then darkness takes hold. Oh, there grows a deal. Eventually, it makes us blind to the guiding light of the truth altogether. So that's why it's my belief that we must all resolve never to avert our eyes from what is just and true. So that we can continue to walk the straight and narrow path ahead. Amen. That was intense. It's very intense. Well, I must excuse myself. Before I go, Mr. Ozo, let me compliment you on your grand opus. Uh, what? Without your beautifully composed K 
case against Lord Strongheart, Her Majesty, would have been unable to act. Thanks to you and your fellows, they are all to honest terms, corrupting the British, British? Britain justice system have been silenced. Thank you very much. So, until our paths cross again. Well done. It appears that this long trial has finally come to an end. My apologies for any anxiety holes in my mouth. I'm quite sure we shall meet again here in the courtroom before long, Prosecutor Barak Bansons. In conclusion of these proceedings, I hereby declare the defendant, Barak Bansix. Not guilty. Ooh. They still have the fireworks. They still have the bloody fireworks. This courtroom is filled with gunpowder. I'm so certain of it. Filled. That is all court adjourned. And yeah, guys, uh, this is the end of the game. We are here in the problem. Uh, it really is all over. Did I sacrifice too much? Mr. Naruto. I really must congratulate you. I was truly... Splendid performance. Honestly, I could not be happier for you. Uh, thanks. Thank you very much. I really couldn't have done it without you on my side. Through it all, Mr. Sato. Your kind words mean so much to me. It really was a very Spanish show, Mr. Naruhodo. I thought you are been smiling from year to year, but you look rather glum. Well, of course I'm delighted about the verdict. But in exposing the truth, I'm afraid I caused my client a great deal of pain. I'm really not sure that's what a lawyer ought to be doing. Oh well, in that case. I'm quite sure that when you see Lovan Sisk's smiling face, everything will seem much better. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's old, our old booty. Our old reaper of the ballet. Now, Mr. Sato? Everything seems uh, worse. <laughs> he has a face like a thunder. Oh dear. I wish I should have presumed. Mr. Naruto. Um, yes. Almost a year has uh, been now since I first encountered you. Here is this very courthouse. For you to have right reason, the level of excellency you demonstrate today well, is quite remarkable. But but I exposed the most unpalatable truth you could ever imagine to the court today. Yes, though I've robbed you something you held so dear. Yeah? How was it he said? To fire those who dwell in the darkness require at least some of us to occupy the darkness ourselves. That, that was just a feeble excuse, but call it. Only those with a steady first eye for the truth have what it takes to fight the dark forces of crime. You may find work on establishing that fact in court today. Oh, well, thank you. What are my name's words? I'm quite sure that Kazuma Sama will have a smile on his face at this very moment if he were here. I always seem so angry at me somehow. <laughs> um, Mr. Sato. It's another face like Thunder here. Oh my, uh, he really was here. Loban Zisk. Allow me to congratulate you on your acquittal. Congratulate me, or curse me. You failed to bring down the Reaper. I owe you an apology. No, it is who I should apologize. Your father, Kenshi. If I had been stronger than perhaps I made an unforgivable error of judgment. I can offer no excuse. And I can offer no forgiveness. That aside, 
I suppose you fall your full justice and the truth. Fought out the list. I can't withhold this part. Your words mean more to me than you call now. We'll hold them there. Cousin Sam. There's still one thing that I was not explained. I must say, there's one thing that is still bothering me. Yeah, um, um, the letter. He he received a letter. He will never, who will never come here in Great Britain. He was not for the letter. What's that? The will that Lord Clint Van Zisk wrote before his duel with my. Okay, never mind. Uh, before his duel with my father. The will. As long is a fine detective, the hunter worthy of respect. So I agree to honor my final two wishes. The first is that these documents survive. The second, I cannot commit to paper. Was I my scene to my wife? Did she find a resolution in my life? In my turn, I regretted all my Japanese friend arrest my crew. He Van Zisk. You mean to killing him? What can the second of his final wishes have been? Your father agreed to honor, you mean? Mm -hmm. I think perhaps... I might be able to shed some light on that. What? Father? It was ten years ago, as you know, and the day before, before the execution was scheduled. I told the priest to say farewells to Genshin. So he did kill him. Why aren't you putting on, uh, up on more fight, Genshin? Only you agree to it, Seishir and I will gladly petition the government. You be true these already, you don't need to worry about me. Anyway, Eugene, I have a favor to ask you. Something of great importance. You are one of my greatest friends. Gensh, whatever it is, it's never done. I'm going to tell you and others. I need to go there at once, in secret. You find a lady of the gentry and I am there. Lady of the gentry? Of the gentry? She's not in good way. She's with a child. Bird is imminent. A medical man, I'd like you to attend to her, please. Fuck. I knew it. No, by any chance, it's the child yours, Genshin. Don't be daft. It's a favor that was asked by me, by a man I knew, I would die in wish. I had a feeling it was the professor's daughter. Oh my god, it's more than a man that I will help. I will do whatever I could do for his wife and his unborn child. But something should happen to me. I need to ask you that same favor. You are the only person I know that I can truly rely on. What did you say? If something should have happened to you tomorrow night, you're going to be... to be... <laughs> you're an auto, do you? A life will be... Alright then, tell me, tell us. We had there on once, you shake your hand. No, not with you. Pardon? Here's a favor I'm asking of you. Only you, Chi. Right, I see. Very well then. Well, that is the truth. The very night I caught a train from Paddington to that more than never. Found an old house in the middle of nowhere. It was an old hunting home, ladies. Asleep in the grounds. The poor woman was on the floor. At the back of a darkened room, she was in a mortal danger. While her waters precipitated a label before she wakened up her was a torturous bird. Everything human possible for her and her child. <laughs> Iris. In the end, I was lucky enough to welcome a new life in the world. But tragically, my efforts to save the mothers, life were in vain. I held a healthy newborn girl in my arms, but for longer than I care to remember. Eventually, something of a daze looking around the room. There was a 
pressure little in it, but an old travel trunk called by my eye. Holy fucking shit. I clearly been well looked after over the years made a top quality ladder with fine stitching. But it was uh, so dangling on the side of it was everything dropped into place. B for Baskerville. Baskerville? You mean the woman was the life of the Lord Clint Francis? The one was the wife. That's right, was the wife. The newborn was his daughter. So his nephew. But, but that makes no sense. Well, no, wouldn't Clean have entrusted the child to my case in that case? I was completely unaware of that. And even, he, <laughs> even he had a daughter. Maybe it was a mistress? I suppose he didn't really have any choice. But, well, your brother said that he confessed everything to his wife. So she must have been besides her son who's worrying for her child. If the true identity of the professor were even to be made public, the girl would be forever branded as the daughter of the infamous must murder. Ah! That's the only solution. It was to distance the young girl from the Francisk family as much as possible. I don't believe it. I imagine that in his final hour, Lord King Francisk made the obvious choice. He will have thought to himself. This Japanese man here is someone I can trust. I honor my promise to Genshi, of course. However, only a month later, I was summoned back to Japan. Without disclosing the parentage of the child, I couldn't obtain permission to take her with me. Oh, how awful. I was completely at loss. In then, I have to ask how my great friend. Ask him if he will be a father to her. Being Mr. Sholmes, I presume. Yes. Took one look at more through my eyes and I agreed to it on the spot. Sholmes is a heart of a gold. Good. Really? Well, I can be sad that I did for the child. I was to give her a name. Oh. I can't read and I was trying to escape from the grief of losing my darling wife. What's her name I gave the little girl? Why named Professor Mikotoba? In other words, Ayame Mikotoba. Ayame? Ayame? That's right, Ayame. Or in English, Iris. Iris. Like the main antagonist on the previous game, <laughs> Triology Trilogy. I had no idea. Ding dong. Ouch! Yes, I know, what's wrong? The little thing must be pinched to be hand through the trusher pocket heart. Oh, my dear fellows, can you hear me? Mr. Sholmes, is that you? John? Ouch. Yes, yeah, 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 we can hear you. We can hear you. Oh, no. You see that excessive tag you can do? Let uh, that be a loose lesson to you. <laughs> Mr. Sholmes, we were able to thank you properly before, but we are simply marvelous. Your checkmate's move was stroke of a genius. It really was, wasn't it? I surprised myself, I feel. It became apparent to me that to stop Lord Chief Injustice requires such a measure. Bruno, Susie. Oh, Iris. I'm so pleased. What a wonderful outcome. I imagine the Queen Vicky said she thought my special blend was delicious. Oh, I'm, I'm sure she did. After all, one brews up more delicious tea than you do, Iris. Let's have a party to show. Hey, Mr. River, you simply must come too. Well, um, um, I'm afraid I could. Of the power of the master, ten years old. <laughs> no, really? Oh, cool. I think you should go, but I give you my word that I shall present myself at your residency in the near future to express my gratitude. You promise now? Okay. Let you forget. Bye for now. Alright, Iris, thank you for all the help earlier. But that was nothing. Let us come back home soon. Soon. It's too soon? Be down. Uh, I'm gonna ping, ping goodbye, was it? That's the one, it's my Kazuma. I think I ought to be leaving. No, Francisco, would you care to accompany me? Certainly. Oh, he has to go to. Mm, to once again to express my deep. I believe you saved my life.
Wait, no man disk. Yes. What are you intending to do? Well, clearly I shall have to resign from the prosecutor office. Oh no. I intend to publicize the full truth about the professor case. Once says that the Bansis family will be ostracized from the from Roman society. Surely not. So as soon as I'm free from my employment, she'll leave the capital. Oh, I see. Are those the actions of a man once feared as the mighty reaper of the family? I beg your pardon? For the past ten years, you won't do it without pseudonym, and be cast as one of the dark forces yourself. Now do you finally be freed from that disrepute your path is just beginning, sure. Well, I certainly never expected to hear those words from you. You may have very long time to come to I'm probably here and tend to learn all that that I can. Anyway, goodbye for now, you risk it. Kazumasu. You seem that as though he's really much mature. Shoot, 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 shoot. Suddenly, he's not only one who's mature, Mr. Nanda. Well, I think they will. To the base. Marcel, Alice, we have to nice dinner. We must. And it was done. And it came on to a pulled in decision about my future. Will it be a third chapter? Or is this done? <laughs> More food. I'm home. Ah. ah. 